All right, good morning, good morning. Today is Tuesday, and this right here is a key breakout of British Pound JPY and exactly what you look for as far as looking for an entry or getting into any kind of trade and exactly how you break it down. Now, as you can see here, we have past level of resistance where price action came to this level and it showed rejection and it fell all the way back to the downside. As you can see, we have the same exact thing right here, making that double top confirmation and price action always fell back to the downside side this is also the key levels of support and resistance that you look for time and time again you can see how price action came right here you can see how it came right here also when it broke above this level and pulled back and went back to the top side now this right here was a trade from yesterday when price action fell back below here and then pulled back to the same exact past level of support and resistance and you can see how it retested there and it went even further to the downside now look at it right here right we have past level of support and resistance all the way through right we have past level of support and resistance all the way through price action fell back below this level it could pull back here and show rejection in this level the same exact way it did time and time again now these are the setups you're looking for it don't matter whatever happened this is how you view the market you're saying okay every time it came here in the past it always fell down so if it comes right back here once again and show rejection in this area i can get in for a sell and price action can fall all the way back to the downside we will have tp1 and you'll have tp2 right about here why because these are the past levels of support and resistance it's always going to be that simple you're looking for rejection and you're looking for price action to fall even further to the downside a very very simple trade right here here okay now that is the bear scenario like i say time and time again you'll have the bear scenario as well as the bullish scenario you're never a hundred percent sure what's going to happen so knowing all outcomes is the best way to go so whatever happened you can adapt and adjust to it and get in for that confirmation and get in on that direction okay so that right there was a bear scenario if price action decides not to retest here and not to reject that level well look to the past right this is the key thing i say all the time as you can see in the past when it pushed above this level it came right about here and then pulled back down to this past level of support and resistance and that's where it took off at right a very simple break above pull back going all the way to the top side the same thing can happen again right it can break back above this level pull back to the same exact level we're still getting in for the buy at the same way you was getting in for the sell as far as at that same exact price level so the same sell is going to be your same exact buy entry you don't got to overthink this stuff right it's just a different direction because like i said before you're not 100 percent sure whatever is going to happen so it could break above here pull back and go all the way back to the top side that is a possibility possibility you just don't know so you gotta know every outcome that could happen this right here could be that inverted head and shoulder right and it pushed all the way back to the top side but this right here is exactly how you're viewing any kind of setup you're looking for confirmation you're looking for that trend and you're simply getting in and knowing both the outcome as far as the bear scenario and the bullish scenario and you're always using the correct risk management right you're not over leveraging you're not using a big lot size you're doing things the right way but this right here is exactly how i'm looking at british pound gpy for the week and i'll see you in the next video guys